All right, now to the Big Island, and with lava activity still confined to Halima'uma'u as the eruption continues at Kilauea, there are multiple vents within the crater, and over the past 24 hours, USGS scientists say the lava lake has actually risen about six and a half feet. The western vent continues to be the most active and most vigorous source of lava, with some fountains reaching as high as 50 feet. The newest eruption has also drawn visitors from all over the world, and that has been a nice boost in business for the Big Island. Bridget Namata joins us now with more on the economic impacts there. Hi guys, a few miles away from Hawaii Volcanoes National Park is an orchid nursery. Akasuka Orchid Gardens, it's been around for almost 50 years, and they rely on a lot of business, a lot of foot traffic from the park. Obviously with the pandemic, business was slashed in half, but now that Kilauea Volcano is erupting again, they're hoping that this translates to more income for this family business. I've got Takeshi Akasuka here with me. Takeshi, Kilauea has started uh, erupting again less than a week ago. Have you seen any type of more foot traffic? Yes, I've definitely seen some foot traffic increase, but roughly about 15% this past Friday when we were open. Okay, 15% to an average viewer might feel like mm, that might, might not be too much, but for you guys, is that a lot? Oh, it's a lot. Um, at, at our peak, we're getting roughly between 800 to 1,000 people a day. So and any, any increase is much better than what it was before. I'm curious to know from a local business owner's standpoint, when you found out Kilauea Volcano was erupting again, a lot of people thought, oh, a beautiful orange glow. But that orange glow must have meant more like money signs to you. <laughs> Tell me a little bit what it was like for you when you found out that Kilauea was erupting again. Yeah, definitely it was like a positive sign where we knew that more people would be coming up to the volcano community, not only for our business, but to a local volcano businesses as well. Okay, so we're we're being positive here, but can you tell me what it was like in all of 2020 and the pandemic? I'm sure that you guys had to adapt. Yes, we had to adapt. When pandemic hit, um, basically our retail operations just ceased and stopped. So, you know, unfortunately at that point we had to transition to more of a wholesale online um, process for us and then we were able to survive going that route. You know, Takeshi, if there is a silver lining to uh, the pandemic and to what happened, I think it helped people realize the importance of shopping local and supporting local businesses. Yes. What is your take on that now that we're more than a year and a half into this pandemic? Yeah. Well, we're on a small island too, so, you know, definitely supporting local, supporting Hawaii businesses is very important, you know, to be, because without the outside visitors, we only got the locals to rely on. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit more? Are there any interesting um, visitors that came by recently that came to visit the park and just came in to check out what it was like here? Yeah, definitely. Um, for a lot of people, it's been like it's their first time visiting us, so they don't know what to expect, right? When they come in, they're like, oh my gosh, there's all these different plants or orchids. And definitely being um, under a cover was helpful, so because it does rain a lot here. So we, we hope that they had a lot of positive experience with that. Takeshi, thank you so much. Yeah. And before we toss it back to you guys in the studio, we are at an orchid nursery. So yeah. please explain to me what we're seeing here. Uh, this is a Oncidium Heaven scent, uh, also known as a chocolate orchid. So if you actually smell it, it does smell like chocolate. It's yeah. a chocolate yep. orchid, guys. Yeah, that smells like chocolate. That is just mind <laughs> mind blowing to me, guys. If you want to check this out yourself and support local, it is Akasuka Orchid Gardens here, just a few miles away from Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Reporting from the Big Island, I'm Bridget Namata. Back to you.